Pink is one of the most common colors I see people want to make an inventory out of in CS2. Maybe you're just a pink enjoyer. Maybe you're a Valorant player who has recently started playing Counter-Strike and you want an inventory to make you feel more at home. Well, I have the perfect inventory for you guys. Today, we're going to be building the best pink inventory in CS2. Let's get started. So starting out on the Glock, our budget option is gonna be the Umbral Rabbit. Here, I wanted to throw in a budget option because the other pink Glock that we're gonna throw on this list is kind of expensive. I would not consider it budget whatsoever. I've spoke about the Umbral Rabbit a lot in recent videos, and I think it's just a wonderful skin. It's absolutely beautiful. The artwork's amazing. And of course, you have the pink flowers and the pink rabbit right across the top of the skin there. I think it's a great spot for our budget pink option. Moving on, our Chad Glock is gonna be the pink DD Pat. I actually really like the pink DD Pat skins. I think they're sleek. It's not super flashy. There's not a ton going on. It's very sleek, but the pink is very vibrant at the same time. It matches the vice gloves here very nicely. Pops really nice, and you can match it with the op, which we'll talk about later in the video. Love the pink DD pat. Moving on to the USPS, our budget option is going to be the Cortex. I'm actually not a huge fan of the Cortex when you inspect the weapon, but when you're just looking down the sights like this, I think it looks really nice. I love the white and the pink and the way they contrast against each other. I just don't really like the skeleton and how his brain is kind of popping out of his skull. This skin also does have a little easter egg if you take a look at the suppressor it does actually say usp because it's on the usp i think it's a really cool little you know hidden easter egg and before we move on guys if you would like to pick up any of the skins we've talked about so far or any of the skins we're going to talk about later on please check out this video's sponsor skins monkey is an instant way to get new cs2 skins and make your perfect inventory first deposit the skins you want to trade then filter for the skins you want last hit trade and the new skins will instantly be yours skins monkey is offering up to five free dollars on your first trade the more you trade the more you earn if you're looking to buy skins for cheap skins monkey offers a 35 percent top-up bonus if you use code savimi at checkout check out skins monkey and build your perfect inventory our chad usp is going to be the target acquired i think this skin is absolutely gorgeous i think it got a huge buff in cs2 it looks so much better than it did in csgo very vibrant obviously you got this great metallic finish only thing about the target acquired is sometimes it's hard to find a float that's low enough where it doesn't look scuffed a lot of the skins even though if, even if you get a factory new one for example are going to have areas that look kind of scuffed as long as you get a low enough float this can be a flawless looking skin onto the tech nine i have the decimator here i love the way the decimator skins look and you get some variety i'm a big fan of cotton candy colorways which is pink and blue and i think this skin really embodies that as well as giving it kind of a techno futuristic vibe with the geometry and kind of the lines to it i really like the decimator and i think it looks much better in cs2 now than it did in csgo moving on to the five seven we have the fairy tale i'm actually not a big fan of this skin i i don't mind the anime skins where it's like anime characters on weapons but this fairy tale doesn't feel like it's an anime skin it kind of feels like it's just a cartoon maybe like a my little pony-esque princess magical thing but hey if that's your vibe this is a great pink skin it's got vibrant colors i don't think the artwork's bad by any means just not really my thing moving on to the cz up first our budget option is going to be the tacti cat Again, it has the cotton candy themed and matches the vice gloves very nicely. Nobody really uses the CZ, to be honest. I think it could use a buff or maybe a price change as far as, you know, how much it costs to make it more viable. If you did want to have a complete pink inventory, I do recommend getting at least one of the pink CZs. Our second CZ is going to be the Fuchsia is Now. Now, this is just a better pink CZ, in my opinion. It's one color. It's got a very beautiful metallic pink finish. It's kind of like the Twilight Galaxy, but on the CZ and, of course, in pink. It is a little bit more expensive, so I'm going to consider this a chad cz option not a budget option by any means again if you want a cz pick one of these two up now onto the desert eagle our budget option is going to be the trigger discipline obviously this thing has a ton of pink going on again with the cotton color candy themes but i don't really like it i don't i mean i like the shade of pink on the deagle but i don't like the pattern that it lays on i don't really like the way it looks by any means it looks very cheap to me it looks very budget i just it kind of feels out of place to me now a little giveaway announcement for you guys once we hit 1600 subscribers here on my youtube channel we will be giving away this minimal wear m4a4 temu cow all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel leave a comment on this video and join the discord server that is linked down in the description below once we hit 1600 subscribers the giveaway will be announced inside of my discord server i hope to see you guys there now our chad desert eagle is going to be the night heist it's not a ton of pink but as you can clearly see there are some pink coordinates and everything on the gun i do really like this skin i love the metallic finish this is a skin that doesn't wear very nicely so make sure to get a very very low float if you're going to be rocking this skin but i think it's really nice and i think it's very unique i don't see the night heist running around a lot in game so maybe change it up a little bit and throw on the night heist onto the r8 i'm going with 
the fade. This is kind of the only pink option we have for the R8, and I'm kind of regretting putting an R8 in the video already, but I know some people do enjoy the R8 revolver, so I wanted to have a skin for them. And the way the pink is laid onto the fade where there's absolutely zero purple, and when you're aiming down sights, what you're seeing is majority pink. I thought that we could include it. Moving on to the MAC-10, up first we have the Neon Rider. I really like this skin, and I'm gonna come out and say it, I think I actually prefer the Neon Rider on the MAC-10 versus the AK. They both look great. They're both great skins, don't get me wrong, but I love the teal accents on the on the MAC-10. I think it really complements the pink. You got a really cool motorcycle rider with his helmet there on the front of the skin. Very nice artwork, very vibrant colors. Love the Neon Rider. Our second MAC-10 is gonna be the Curse. This just has a ton of pink going on, right? I don't know what the skin is trying to do. There's a brain showing on like a zombie kind of ghoul character. Not too sure. Not really my cup of tea, but if you don't like the Neon Rider, I think this is a suitable option, especially when you aim down sights. You just kind of see a bunch of pink with a very nice black background, a more simplistic skin, if that's kind of your vibe. Moving on to the MP9, we have the Mount Fuji. I do really, really enjoy this skin. I think it's very nice. It's one of the better budget skins in the game. Beautiful rising sun there. Obviously, there's Mount Fuji across the middle of the weapon here. It is kind of a different shade of pink than the rest of the skins that we've looked at so far, but it is pink, and it is kind of our only MP9 option, so I'm, th I'm throwing it in here. Up next, we have the Wild Child. Very vibrant colors going on here. It's not really my thing, but you can make an inventory full of these kind of like graffiti style weapons, and I think that is kind of a cool touch if that is your style. Moving on to the sawed off, we have the Kiss Love. One of the newer skins in the game, and I, when this came out, I really, really liked the skin. I love the way it looks. I don't know why, but the art is just absolutely perfect to me, and I love that they put it on the sawed off. I've talked about before how I, I wish that certain skins were on different weapons, but I think the Kiss Love perfectly fits on the sawed off. I think it would look kind of weird if it went on any other type of weapon, and it has a classic CSGO reference on the skin. How could you not love it? Our second sawed off is going to be the Wasteland Princess. This is kind of like a Harley Quinn skin to me. I don't know why I like it. It's a girl version of the Wasteland Rebel, the, Ra the Wasteland Princess. You have some nukes flying in, some, some lipstick marks. Very beautiful. You have a kill count across the barrel there, all the little etch marks on the weapon. Kiss this written on it. Kind of sassy, right? Maybe you're a sassy player. You, you're hiding in a corner with your sawed off. Boom, kiss this, right? You get a kill. You rub it in a little bit that you got a kill with the sawed off. I like this skin. Moving on to the XM, we have the XOXO. A very vibrant skin once again, pink and green. Not my favorite color scheme in the world, but it is a pretty XM, you have to admit. Like I said in my last video, you're gonna want an XM skin. You're gonna be using it at some point, and that's my least favorite thing in the world, right? When you, you're using an off-meta weapon and you just don't have a skin equipped, it just makes you feel useless. It makes you feel like you shouldn't be using the weapon, because I want to use my skin, right? I don't want to buy a weapon that doesn't have a skin for it, so you're never gonna buy the XM if you don't have a skin for it. So get an XM skin. Moving on to the AK, we have the Neon Revolution up first here. Anarchy written across it. I've talked about this skin before. It's not my absolute favorite. I understand that it's some people's cup of tea, but it just kind of reminds me of like a Joker weapon. Like this is something the Joker would use. I just, I don't know. It's it's not really my thing. Our second AK is going to be the Neon Rider. I genuinely enjoy this. I made a joke a couple months ago in a video calling this a Valorant skin, but this skin came out pre-Valorant. Valorant copied the Neon Rider. Okay, let's get things straight here. In all seriousness, this is a beautiful skin. Again, with the cotton candy colors. The purple is a lovely accent in my opinion. I think this is the superior pink AK-47. Moving on to the AUG. Up first we have the Death by Puppy. I do actually enjoy this skin. It has a nice kind of pink undertow to the skin. Nothing crazy to write home about. I do like the Death by Kitty on the P90, so I wanted to show the Death by Puppy some love here. On to the FAMAS, we have the Pulse. As you can see, this is almost a perfect float, and it still has some wear on the middle of the weapon down here. So keep that in mind when buying one of these things, but it is nice. It's simple, kind of a budget skin and it's a nice color and it's always nice when you can have a skin on every weapon that fits your color theme we've gone to the Khalil up first we have the chromatic aberration now this skin is also on the op but I like it way more on the Galil the Galil kind of fills the skin out more there's not a lot of empty kind of negative space on the op I feel like there's a ton of emptiness on the skin and I don't really like that I like the 3d effect on here it looks kind of cool where the, the lines are undertone you know if you put on your your 3d red and blue glasses right this thing would kind of pop out at you I like small details like that our second Khalil is going to be the Sugar Rust. I never realized how worn this thing really looks, but it is a cool skin. Again, with the cotton candy color theme, right? Very lovely skin, and the magazine kind of looks like it's melting, like this gun was made out of candy, and it's melting in the heat of battle. Very cool. Onto the M4A1S, we have the Decimator once again. Now, there wasn't a great pink option on the M4A1S, and the Decimator was kind of the best I could find. I do like it less than I like the Decimator on the Tech 9, though. There's less pink. This is more blue to me. Obviously, when you aim down sights, 
sights. You see the top of the weapon there and a little bit on the suppressor, but you don't really see the full scope of the pink until you inspect the weapon on the magazine handle, butt of the weapon suppressor and top. Still a lovely looking skin though. On the M4A4, we have the lovely Neo Noir up first. I could have thrown a Neo Noir at multiple spots on this list, but I think the M4A4 embodies the pink the best. I love the contrast of the white. Girlfriend on the gun here, very lovely artwork. Just a very beautiful looking skin. Our second M4A4 is going to be the Tooth Fairy. This is a skin that I never see get used. I've never seen this skin in game. I think I had one friend back in the day, Yevil, you know who you are, who rocked the Tooth Fairy, but other than that, I don't think I've ever seen it make a resurgence. I think the artwork is very unique. This could definitely fill a very niche want of some people. Maybe the skin just doesn't have enough publicity, right? Maybe not enough people know this skin exists. So let's get some love for the Tooth Fairy. Our third and final M4A4 is going to be the Temu Cow. I had to throw it in here. Everybody loves this skin. The colors are just absolutely amazing. The vibrant pink, especially when you're looking down the sights here, the rails on top and the iron sights have a beautiful shade of pink. They match the vice gloves perfectly. I really had to include this skin. Onto the SG, we have the Desert Blossom. I really like this skin. I think it's super underrated. The pink front looks really great in my opinion, and I'm, I actually am a fan of the flower artwork along the middle of the weapon here. Not everybody's cup of tea, probably. Not everybody uses the SG, but if it ever gets buffed, and if it ever becomes good again, pick one of these up for your pink inventory. Moving on to the Scout, we have the Turbo Peak. I love this skin. Who doesn't like cars? You have a gear shifter on the bolt right there. You pull it out. You put it in gear every time you shoot another shot. Second gear. Third gear, right? Very beautiful artwork. The colors are just absolutely amazing. Really love the attention to detail on this thing. Moving on to the op, there are a handful of options, but I'm only picking two on this list. And up first is going to be the, du the Duality, a beautiful budget op. It really doesn't get much better than this. This is one of the best budget ops in the game. Just look how beautiful this thing is. The pink is vibrant. It changes colors in the lighting. The gold engravings look so good. I'm a huge fan of the Duality. I've spoke about it a handful of times. If you're on a budget and you're looking for an op, Duality is probably your second best choice right behind the Aetherius. And last but not least, I am going with the pink DD Pat on the op. I just love how simplistic this skin looks. Again, sometimes less is more when it comes to skins, and this is just a beautiful op. I really don't see it as much as I used to. I feel like it's kind of gotten overshadowed by more modern op choices, and I think this is still a very valid pick. It can match your Glock. You could have this only on T side if you want to specifically match your Glock. I do kind of wish it had the pink scope like it did in the beta, but again, you can't beat the classic black scope. Throw some beautiful stickers on there. You got a really nice skin. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier in the video, I am going to be giving away this M4A4 Temu Cow in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,600 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, leave a like, and comment on this video, and join my Discord server that will be linked down in the description below. I hope to see you guys in there. Have a wonderful rest of your day.